you know, the, the book has got several hypocrisies in that chapter. Are there any that stand out to you or is there anything else? What's the biggest hypocrisy that you think we need to get rid of in India? Everyone is hypocritical. Every single person in this place is hypocritical. If you aren't hypocritical, you're akin to a saint, in my opinion. I believe we all live under the principle of do as I say, not as I do. And I think that the, the hypocrisy is just deeply embedded inside of us. There's so many of them. The same advice we'll give someone else, we won't take. The same way <laughs> we want true. our family to be treated, we won't treat other families. The same way we want to treat the people uh, we love, we won't treat people we don't care about or don't fit within our idea of worth or our socioeconomic strata or whatever it is. And I think we all are dripping with hypocrisies. But if we're talking about specifically in India, larger hypocrisies, then there, there are so many. And I think one of the main ones is this, this, the difference between how we treat people in different socioeconomic classes. Okay, so if you were to expand that a bit more, what, what do you mean by the way we treat people in different socioeconomic classes? Well, we all would openly say that we believe in respect and respecting each other and, yep. um, you know, being kind to our neighbor, et cetera, et cetera. But I mean, that respect only, uh, often only extends to people within this, who think the same way as you or are within the same socioeconomic stat, strata as you. And you, would, you, you, you often talk to people that, uh, work for you or people you think are beneath you in this social hierarchy that we very much um, continue to prop up and support uh, very differently. Mm. Very, very good point. And that was one thing that really upset Alec, which is why he did so much social work. And he did all these brilliant adverts. Do you remember the advert of the, um, the tomatoes in the jar? Do some of you remember that? So the government came to Alec and said, um, Mr. Padamsi, we need to reduce the population in India. And he said, there's two ways to do it. And originally, we won't talk about Kama Sutra condoms yet. We'll talk about them after. But he, he did an advert where he got a jar and they had two tomatoes in the jar. And basically, if you put the third one in and turned the lid, all of the tomatoes burst. And he showed this advert to the government and the government said, Mr. Badamsi, you haven't said anything about population control. And um, he said, really, is that what you think? So they took the advert to all these villages across India and they said, what do you think this represents? And outstandingly, astoundingly across the country, everyone said, this is obvious. This is like, ekya do bus means we should only have two kids. Because if we have a third, we won't have enough money. So it's, it's pretty amazing. He was always thinking about the underdog and he was always looking at how he could bring them up. So thanks for that, Jim. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.